In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to use cloth toilet paper in your low waste bathroom. You'll see step by step exactly how to switch to reusable toilet paper, how to clean the toilet on paper, and you'll see that it is totally cleanly, not even gross at all, especially if you have a bidet like I do. So let's get to it, guys. So step number one is purchase or make some reusable toilet paper. So I bought mine from Marley's Monsters. They have a really great sustainable store. It's based out of Eugene, Oregon. I'll show you a link to that in the description. Be sure to check down there because all of the supplies that I talk about in the video will be listed in the description. Marley's Monsters has the toilet un paper and they sell it for $43. This is the organic cotton version. I chose that they also have just a regular cotton flannel they have it in different patterns and different colors the regular is $35 per roll and it has about 24 sheets per roll now you can also buy it on Amazon I saw a bunch on Amazon that was really inexpensive I think it started at like nine or ten dollars for 15 or 16 sheets now on Amazon, they're selling it as baby wipes. So this is basically like a reusable baby wipe. Now, the other thing you can do is make your own. So if you are handy with sewing, it's very, very simple. You just have to sew a border around the cloth. And there are lots of videos on YouTube that show you exactly how to do it. And I'll put some links to those down in the description as well. So once you have your roll, the first step is to wash it. You have to wash it before you you use it, you need to make the material more absorbent. So you just peel off every single sheet, throw it in your washer, and you will wash it. Once you've emptied your roll, you do wanna make sure that you wash it in hot water and I dry it on a good high temp as well. And that just makes sure that you're getting all of your wipes nice and clean in between. Now I use 20 Mule Team Borax in my laundry along with my detergent and that just helps to bleach it out or keep the color nice and clean. They get super clean, you guys. I have not had any problems. 20 Mule Team Borax also reduces odor as well. I use it with all my laundry. My husband's kind of sweaty sometimes, so I need that extra punch that the 20 Mule Team Borax adds to my laundry. And it works great for your reusable toilet paper as well. Now, you can wash them by themselves if you really feel like it, but to tell you the truth, guys, they don't actually get that dirty, especially if you're using them with a bidet, because really it's just acting like a towel that you're washing your cleaned self off with. So it's really no big deal. And like I said, it's not even that gross. And especially if you're washing it in hot water, it's really no different than your towel that you just bathed and dried yourself off with. So the next step after washing is to roll your toilet on paper. So the first step after laundering is to stack your toilet on paper. So what I do is I just take each one, I stretch it out, and stack it on top of each other and just keep stacking it up one after the next stack them on top of each other so I've just about come to the end of my stack and you can see that they come out really clean when you launder them so mine I've had for several months and they're still nice and clean they actually get softer the longer that you have had them and the more you launder them so the laundering is very important and once you have stacked them up then you're gonna take your roll so you're just gonna take your first one and you're going to roll it on to the toilet paper roll and the Marley's Monsters toilet on paper comes with the roll but they're pretty easy to buy if uh, you get the cloth wipes on Amazon that don't come with a roll so you basically just keep doing this and overlapping each one as you go so you're not just rolling all of them onto it but you're basically overlapping each one as you go like so. So I've just about come to the end here. 
The toilet unpaper from Marley's Monsters comes with 24 sheets, I believe, and it was $43 for this organic cotton, which is what I purchased. The regular ones are $35 per roll, but obviously it's going to last you a very long time. You are probably going to want to get at least two rolls or make at least two rolls. Now you can see as the roll starts to fill up, you get a lot of space here, but what I like to do is just kind of overlap the next sheet so that they fit nicely on your roll. So just overlapping there and we just have a couple more. Now Marley's Monsters makes these very long sheets. The ones you get on Amazon that are the reusable baby wipes, those were squares. I haven't tried the squares personally, but these very long wipes, I usually end up folding it in half when I'm using it to wipe. So it's more than enough tissue, especially when you have a bidet like I do. So see, there you have it. You've got your roll and it will just go on the toilet paper holder just like that with this sheet ready to be pulled off. Now step four is to use your untoilet paper. So now I'm going to take you into my bathroom and I'll show you exactly how I've set it up to use my toilet unpaper. So here we go, we're gonna walk into my bathroom. I'm gonna give you a tour. This is my bidet. I have the Toto washlet. I absolutely love it. The seat is warmed and it really works fantastically. I'm gonna go ahead and close the lid. Now this one is a powered bidet, so we did have to put a plug in to our little toilet room so that it could operate, but there are bidets that you can buy that do not need to have electricity. In fact, we have one in one of our other bathrooms. We got it from Costco. I believe it was only 100 or $150, and that one works very well too. So you can see I've already got a roll of toilet unpaper hanging in my bathroom and this new roll that we just laundered I will put here. I bought this little magazine rack with the two toilet paper holders on Amazon. I'll put a link to that in the description as well. My husband likes to put his magazines there and then we can have two rolls of reusable toilet paper here. Oh and if you guys haven't used Poo-Pourri, it is so great and it has really good ratings. It's nice and clean, a clean fragrance for your bathroom. Bathroom. Now I've got my bidet buttons here and then I do keep a roll of regular toilet paper here. I've been using the bamboo toilet paper. It's pretty thin so you do have to use a little bit more of it but at least it is more sustainable than some of the other toilet paper brands. And now here is my receptacle that I wanted to tell you about. I'll put my hand next to it so that you can see that it is a pretty small canister. This is made by Simple Human. It's mostly stainless steel with a little bit of plastic. I like it. It's got this little flip lid and I just place my used toilet unpaper into that. It will take a whole roll so it does fit one entire roll before I need to empty it out and wash them. And what I do is I'll take one of the cloths and I usually end up folding it in half in order Order to use it and I've already cleansed myself with my bidet and then I'm just basically wiping or blotting myself dry, drying myself off with these cloths. You can obviously use it for just urine and your bowel movement whatever way you would like to and they just work fantastically. So then I just end up folding it up and I place it right in my receptacle. I do have some good balance here so if I do want to clean myself why I'm using my bidet, I've got that ready to go as well. So that's it. All you need is this little receptacle. Now obviously there are other ways to collect your used cloth toilet paper. Marley's Monsters sells wet bags, so that is one option as well. You can take a look at those on their website. But I like the little can. I think it works great. Because I have a bidet, the cloth toilet paper is not very soiled. I do not notice any odor with just one roll filling up my canister. Now, I do clean the canister every time I empty it into the wash in order to wash my cloth toilet paper. So so I'm making sure that it is clean between every roll. And that's it. 
It's as simple as that. So why have I chosen to use toilet unpaper, family cloth, reusable toilet paper? Because it helps to save the environment, you guys. There are so many toilet papers that are made are using forests. They're cutting down, clear cutting forests, some of them even up in Canada, to make the toilet paper. And then not to mention the bleaching of the toilet paper to make it white. That's releasing dioxins. It's using a lot of water. And the manufacturing process just takes a lot of energy. It has to be shipped to you, trucked to you, using fuel, wrapped in plastic. The list just goes on and on about how unsustainable sustainable toilet paper really actually is. So although I do still use some toilet paper, I have complemented that with using reusable toilet paper so that my impact is at least a little bit less. So I hope that helps guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you like this type of information, be sure to subscribe and hit the little bell so that you get notified of every single episode. I wish you the very best of health guys and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everyone.